Welcome to episode 10 of Coffee with Robbie, brought to you by my favorite mug made by my wife. Today's a very special topic, how to be happy at work when everyone else is miserable. I wrote an article about this on LinkedIn a while back, had about 500,000 views. It's obvious I hit a chord with it, and so I want to make that my topic for today, and it's going to be a little bit of a rant. I might, might feel like I'm screaming at you because I'm very passionate about this topic. So let's do it. How to be happy at work when everyone else is miserable. Step number one. It is what it is. That is your new mentality every single morning when you get to work, when you wake up, when you leave work. It is what it is. If you hate your manager, it is what it is. If your colleague replies to all and every single email, it is what it is. If someone takes the last cup of coffee and doesn't fill up the coffee machine, It is what it is. If you had to redo someone's work because they're incompetent, it is what it is. You're not getting paid enough and you don't like your bonus or your lack of bonus. It is what it is. Are you catching on? The key to happiness when everyone else is miserable at work, it is what it is. And that's a mentality that I've taken probably for the past two to three years, and it has changed everything. Old Robbie, I would get involved in long email chains when people going back and forth and complaining and and this and that. New Robbie, don't really care. You want to fight? Go ahead. I'm not being part of it. It just it is what my mentality is. It is what it is. And that has made a significant change in how I view work. It has made a significant change in how ha- happy I am at work. And it is, it's just a mentality that I've used. It is what it is. It works great, but you need to stick to it. If you hate that lady that, that clacks on her, on her keyboard because she has these long ass nails, Okay, and you can hear it from a mile away. It is what it is. Just accept it. That's step number one. Let's talk about step number two. Now, I get it. There's only to a point where you can say, this place sucks. I'm miserable, and there's, I, I need to do something different, and I hate the people that I work with. I hate everything about it, okay? Here's where most people fail. And it's my, to me, it's just mind-blowing. Do you know what people do when they're miserable at work? Nothing. They don't do anything about it. They sit there and they complain year after year after year, day after day. They just complain about coworkers and this and the processes. They don't do anything about it. So step number two is... Do something about it. Hello, get in your head. Do something about it. If you are not happy at work, if you've tried, it is what it is, okay? If you try that and you think I'm just full of shit because it is what it is, doesn't work. If you've reached that point where you've reached the max of it is what it is, okay, and you're saying it 15 times a day, then it's time for something new. It's time for something different. But hello, you have to do something about it. I don't have sympathy for people that say, I want a new job and don't do anything about it. And it's rampant across people, rampant of people that just accept it, accept them being miserable and don't do anything about it. And it drives me absolutely insane. So if you want to do something about it, do something about it. Here's something that I, how I figure out if I can help somebody or not. I used to go above and beyond to help people. And people that come to me say, hey, I'm miserable. 
And what I'll do is I'll give them advice. And what happens is most of them don't do anything about it. It's the same situation year after year. And now every time they email me, I just don't respond because it's pointless. I'm literally telling you step by step exactly what you need to do. And people don't take that initial step to do it. I have no sympathy for those people. I used to care about them, but now I, you know, I just say it is what it is. If you don't want to take care of it, then, then you don't, uh, then you don't, then, then that's not my fault. Okay. And so stop coming to me when you don't do anything about it consistently. Okay. So that's the action item. Do something about it. It is what it is. And that's all I really have to say for this episode. And stop being a miserable human being. Stop being miserable around other people. Okay. You're making them miserable. Be a happy person. You can be a happy at work. If you're not happy at work, do something about it, especially if you live in America. America is a fantastic place to live. It is a world of opportunities. It really is a world of opportunities and you can do anything that you want. If you get stuck in office politics, okay, do you know why people don't succeed in their careers is office politics. People would rather fight with their incompetent manager, incompetent colleagues, incompetent company culture, then do something about it. And they get, they get so caught up, well, I'm going to prove this person wrong. You know how you prove someone wrong? By getting a new job and saying, bye, see you later. Okay? Not by fighting with that person, not by trying to work you know, extra hours. It doesn't work. Do something about it. I have no excuses. There are no excuses for you not to do something about it. If you've been miserable for at least a year and you haven't done anything about it, you're part of that group of people that don't do anything about it and probably never will. I, I'm restless. That's just me. I, if I'm miserable, then I do something about it. And if, you haven't, if you've been miserable for a year and you haven't done anything about it, most likely it's going to continue. And there's nothing that I can say or do. I can give you step-by-step -step instructions how to get a new job and you won't do anything about it. So if you find yourself, if you've been miserable for a year and haven't done anything about it, I have no sympathy for you. Do something about it. Start with, it is what it is. Separate your work and personal life. It is what it is. It works. That's Friday, episode 10. I think I can do at least 100 more of this. Get ready. Thank you.